I really dislike finding anything in a mess like this. I cannot believe that some people, and I'm just gonna say some people, they live like this and they, they find joy in this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 6. You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna add to this. I'm just gonna add a little bit to... Actually, I need those. Oh, oh I, I... Yeah, you, you get the point. <laughs> you get the point. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I really, really, really want to clean this up. That includes you. I, I'm gonna clean you. In fact, let's start with cleaning you up. Do a little bit like the cow. Get out of the way, please. <laughs> Just do a little bit like that, and... <laughs> that is funny. Oh, I probably need him. Oh, for good... No, how can I get... Can I get you out of this? Can you swim? Can you swim? I need you, Target. I'm gonna need you later. Oh, you're gonna drown. No, what are you doing, Target? Come here. There are a lot of juicy villagers that you can... You can maybe eat up here. Don't do it, dude. Oh, get up. Come on, man. The Target. For goodness... Oh, no, <laughs> no, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> well, with that mega great start, I guess we'll move on. In all seriousness though, I get quite stressed when I want to start a project and I have to search through, yeah, just terrible situation like this. So we're gonna make, we're gonna make a storage system today. We're gonna make a storage system here on the island and I'm really, really excited about that. And I've thought a lot about this. Where would I place my storage system? Because again, the main point of the island is going to be, well, it's gonna be a mega base, but we're also gonna have a huge focus area around villagers and trading and all of that stuff. Uh, and so I'm trying to spread out a little bit without spreading out too much. So we got the Guardian Farm over there. I just misnamed. <laughs> we got the Guardian Farm over there. We're obviously going to have to make a pathway to that. We got the Mega Smelter here, which is still not designed. And then we got the Rocket Factory over there. So I think this space right here may actually be very central if we consider this area to eventually become villager heaven. And by villager heaven, I'm, I'm referring to heaven for Iskal when he abused their traits. So looking at this general space, in order to even begin, I probably need to do some terrain work here. And well, a storage system is gonna require a lot of redstone. So I wanna make sure that I don't have any weird ponds, even though this may have been your personal pool and you loved it. Height-wise, I think this is a good height here. That's one block up from the normal path. So it's going to give us a little bit of terrain differentiation. We also have some mushroom clearing we need to do here. This mushroom is really tall. <laughs> some de-shroomage and de-poolage later. I feel like we got a pretty good we got a pretty good area that we can start the work of this storage room. Now, for those of you who don't know, building storage systems in Minecraft is for me possibly well, it's definitely top three. It's definitely top three fun things that I enjoy to do in this game. And it's not just because of the redstone, it's also because it really challenges your mind in a way to... You get to play with the, with the, with the mind. You want to make a system that isn't just redstone technical, you also want to make it kind of smart. Now, ideally, a storage room wouldn't be much bigger than this footprint here, and that as in an 11 by 11 box, because an 11 by 11, I mean, it's almost a little bit too big, but here I don't actually have to move around, so consider this being chests or inputs or whatever have you. I don't actually have to move around that much. I can reach most things from the very center here, which, I mean, yeah, ideally, when you're finding items and stuff in Minecraft, you want it to be as quick as possible. As you guys know, I have already built a storage system that I'm super, super pleased with that does take care of both the technical aspect and the mind. It also, it also helps you find things back in the glacier base. And I think the very first thing we should do, now that we have this area sort of marked out, is to head back all the way to the glacier base and take a look at that storage system because it does have a few flaws. What is this? Thank you for letting me borrow your emeralds. Pressy for you. That looks like a stress monster typing. <laughs> has she given me armor? Let's let's break this. She has given me Oh my goodness, she has given me god armor. She has given me god armor. Yeah, she was asking me the other day if she could lend some emeralds and I said, "Sure, that's fine." 
and I understand why now. Oh my goodness. That is a mega gift if I ever saw one. These things are hard to make and they take so much time and resources with all the books and the levels you have to have. I'm gonna keep them very, very safe. Thank you so much, Stress Monster. Again, I I'm assuming that it's Stress Monster with, with magenta sign and yeah, the way she types things. <laughs> Things I don't like with my storage system. The clicky noises when using the item input for the auto starter. Having to place down random furnaces just to smelt some stuff. Luckily we took care of that with the mega smelter, didn't we? <laughs> the fact that if I just want one stack of cobblestone, I have to take a box out, place it down and grab my cobblestone. It also creates a mess. And yeah, the mess, I, I don't I don't like that they, there's always a mess of random <laughs> weird items. I do actually really like the current storage system I have if I can fix those small little issues. And I think the main one for me is the fact that I can't access single items from my deep storage unit. And so I've come to my creative test world and I've spent the majority of the past four hours in here trying to solve it. I tried to build this thing here, which is a modified or completely rebuilt Il Mango Schalke box loader. And I tried to make this work. And I came very, very, very close to making it work. Check this out. So we would have, this is, it would be inside our storage room. We'd have our deep storage barrels where Schalke boxes that are filled gets broken and put into a barrel. And this would have a barrel per item. So a little bit different from having one big chest. But the beauty with it is that you can actually access the Schalke boxes. So if I want to take a stack of netherrack out, I could take a stack of netherrack out. And the input would be the same as my other things. So if I would put netherrack in here, that would be sorted through the auto sorter and put into the right box. And because this one is filled, it would start filling up this hopper. And once that hopper is, comes to 23 items, it would break the Schalke box and place a new one. Just like that. But the problem is this. Once it updates and has less than 24 items in this hopper, it's going to break that Schalke box. And there it goes. <laughs> and there it goes. And it broke it into this here. This may sound trivial. Uh, specifically because Il Mango actually so solved this in his Schalke box loader module that I've been using in the past. But the difference is that he uses this block space here to keep track of the Schalke box using an observer. And I can't do that because I need a space to open the Schalke box. So, yeah, after four hours, I think I have to scrap this idea and see if I can think of something else. And I think I have just solved it. Yes. <laughs> I've spent a ridiculous amount of time in this creative test world. Like seriously, ridiculous amount of time. I've struggled so much with this, coming up with different ways of sending items, etc. But I think this is it. The packed Schalke boxes are all getting stored here. So this would be where we stand and we could stack these next to each other. So we would have the next one here, etc, etc. And then in the wall right here, we would have the single items and yeah this is this is a pretty simple system it's a little bit larger than the original Schalke box loader i think it's like two box two blocks taller but essentially you got your item filter up here and the way i do this is that i use this double chest to split items and what's cool with this because both hoppers are facing different ways and hoppers have an input speed that is static uh, Meaning that they are all always the same all of those 16 blocks should make it into this barrel and Nothing is getting stored in a, in a Schalke box until this barrel is full and this hopper can no longer push items there Then they are gonna take this route here and essentially, yeah, get loaded into these Schalke boxes, which are almost filled, by the way. I'm missing like 10 items per Schalke box. That's why it's acting so quickly. Let's actually test that. Let's fill up this barrel because I realize I, 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 many times I make an assumption and I don't actually have anything filled up. So now when items are coming in, they should... Oh, maybe they have to fill up this hopper first. Yeah, they need to fill up this hopper. So let's fill up that hopper. And now they're going to take the other route and... Did I have enough items? No, let's put in some more. And now they should... Yes! 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 So I can access items here, and then of course if I take some out, they will get restocked. This is brilliant! I mean, Sahara is brilliant, and this is also brilliant. This is what we're gonna do. On the bottom, this is just a simple dropper elevator to get it up to the floor level here. Oh, this is... yeah, this is gonna work. I'm so happy right now. 
I'm totally over the moon that I actually managed to get a system working and I am starting to lay out the foundation of this storage room. I wanted to show you guys something though. The other night, I actually went on an end bust on my own. I went on an end bust on my own. It was very strange without Mumbo, I gotta say. I live streamed it and thank you for all of the, to all of those of you who were there. Uh, but look at this. This is the yield that we got, because obviously, building a storage system will require a lot of shulker boxes. And so, I collected up, well, I actually collected up three stacks or six stacks of shulker shells, plus these 54. And then, good times with Scar, the, the Concorp member of Doom, he said, I want to buy some shulker boxes. I'll buy a stack for, for a stack of diamond. I said, that's way too cheap. But I gave him a fantastic price and sold them for 128 diamonds for a stack of shulker boxes. That means that we have 19 blocks of diamonds. I have never ever been this rich on the Hermitcraft server. I feel, oh my goodness, 19 blocks or 19, yeah, 19 blocks of diamonds. That's like a million diamonds. Look at that. Now I am considering because I'm so rich, maybe we should add diamonds to our deep storage, like diamond blocks. That being said, though, yeah, I need 41 to create <laughs> to create the filter. No, I'm just kidding. But regardless, we have a lot of diamonds, and I think, I think, I think that this should be enough shulker boxes to get this started. I definitely do need to do more end rating though, because it feels like shulker boxes I always run out of. I think I'm gonna go with having 18 shulker box loaders. Now that I can access the singular items, I can be a little bit more open on the blocks that I store. So these are the blocks currently that I'm thinking of. So I've started the construction and I've had to make a little bit of changes in the layout plan just because of these clocks here, shooting the boxes up to the bottom barrels. And I gotta say, building this thing is actually really, really fun, specifically when you do it in large scale. Maybe maybe it's the it's the tech nerd in me that that enjoys building these sort of things, but yeah, it's just something about larger industrial type of builds when it comes to placing down a lot of blocks and just repeating a pattern. It's it's really fun. That being said, though, my frame rates just just died by placing those observers. Or not? Did they didn't die, but they heavily got affected. What the heck? Did I create a clock somewhere? Nope, not that I can see. But the frame rates are just terrible all of a sudden. Anyway, I am really quickly running out of resources. I crafted up a bunch of hoppers, but I need a lot more observers. I need a lot more pistons. Luckily, I think I have all the dispensers I need. But I also need... Oh, I need more repeaters. Yeah, the resources with redstone keeps running out. So I think what I'm going to do, now that I have a lot of diamonds and I'm like the richest hermit ever, minus Scar, <laughs> I, I think I'm going to go back and... Do some shopping. Uh, yeah, I going back is always a scary thing. I desperately, desperately need a proper nether tunnel. Oh, I can't do that. Right, let's see them. We're gonna need observers. Oh, yes, he still has some observers. So it's 32 for diamonds, so that's four diamonds. One, two, three, four. Two diamonds for 62 repeaters. I mean, there's no doubt Scar is this rich. He's selling things so cheaply, it seems to me. So I know that Mumbo has recently made an industrial wood farm of Doom using the new TNT uh, mechanics. And honestly, I want to make one too. I've been wanting to make one for a long time, but I just haven't gone around to it. And... Yeah, that would stop me from having to buy wood when it comes to wood for using to chests and all of that thing. All of those things. Because, I mean, Ren gotta be super, super rich at this point in time. I've been buying wood this entire season. Oh my goodness, I didn't actually see that my Elytra was in that bad shape. <laughs> I probably would have been a little bit more careful just flying over the nether on the way back there. But anyway, with these resources, we should be good to continue this and... It's actually a quite simple build when you have space. I usually end up building things in like inside um, yeah, caves and stuff like that. And because of that, well, I always seem to be digging out space and stuff like that. But now in this mega base, like we got the super smelter and we got the creep. All of these things are built over ground. And it's a, a, it's a nice it's a nice change to how I usually do things, if I'm honest. Then need hoppers facing into these observers. That's going to trigger the system. I love that sound, by the way. I really like that sound. 
and I'm not gonna lie, this build has a lot of hoppers, so <laughs> we need hoppers facing into the pistons as well. And I think I'm gonna be placing my barrels where I access the single items on the side like this, because I do really like this face more than this, even though I guess that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> Yeah, I think I like that better. So now I put more hoppers. There are hoppers everywhere. There are so many hoppers in this build. We'll put hoppers there and then our chests, which I have none of, are gonna go on top of this. And then I just need to install the sorter. This is going surprisingly good right now. And this is the most important factor. Well, it's, it's actually not the most important factor. I gotta stop. <laughs> but this is the ice roads placed in and it looks really bad it looks really weird and really bad because i have to make sure that the uh, items are aligned next to these hoppers here just like we did in the super smelter of doom over there and i mean i'm gonna cover this top part up anyway but this is actually the final height of this build so it isn't that bad i mean that giant mushroom we had earlier it was like half of that tower there so definitely Definitely bigger than this, but I'm kind of keen of trying this. So let's try this out. With these hoppers being filled, if I send a sandstone, that should go all the way over and light that comparator up. And yes, yes, yes. So that is working. And after this moment in time, the lovely construction work that's going on outside my apartment all summer. By the way, I didn't order any construction work. They're doing something with the road. Started very loudly. And I do apologize for any background noise that you may, uh, may hear. Okay, we have a massive problem. I can't believe this. We have a massive problem. I'm filling the system up with mycelium at the moment. First of all, why are some mycelium skipping it and ending up there? That's that's one problem. But the bigger problem is all the mycelium is going down this way towards the shulker box. Even though in the creative test world they went into this barrel. I'm starting to think that this is a directional thing. And I thought genuinely <laughs> that because this chest is... Because this hopper has a has a target, it would always get prioritized, but that's not how it works. Of course, that's not how it works. It's just random directional garbage. Oh, for goodness sake, that ruins the whole system. <laughs> that ruins the whole system. This side doesn't work either. Oh. That is, <laughs> that is the most frustrating thing ever. So this module is facing north, and my test module is also facing north. I am baffled. Why is that different? <laughs> Why would that differ? Why would that ever differ? Why? Why? Oh, no. Wait a minute. Uh, so, so now... <laughs> what? <laughs> Talk about inconsistency. That is the weirdest Java behavior I've ever seen in this game. Am I, am I stupid or something? Do I, am I missing something? Last time we tried this, they went down this, this way here. Every single time I tried it. This is the most confusing thing ever. I have never ever been this stuck with redstone contraptions, I don't think. So a minecart, a hopper minecart, usually can split items between two hoppers. I mean, that's how it's always been. And I don't know if that's changed in one point. Uh, 1.14 maybe, but if I do this and put some items in here, that would split it. It splits it into two different equal... Yeah, the... what? And the reason it does this is because it's uh, about both of the hoppers, and it's also because it has the amount of speed, it sucks out the items so quickly. But here, no matter how I position this minecart, I can't get it to split. The items obviously our input here is affected by it so our input is kind of slow but I, I i feel like i feel like not every item should go this way i mean it's it's basically placed over this hopper oh i kind of get it though like with this item with these items being in here as long as we have hopper speed here which is what we're gonna have this minecart is not gonna be fed items like this it's gonna be fed items one by one like this and when it's fed items one by one, it's going to choose one destination and just have that destination. Yeah, so now it chose the left. 
And that seems completely random what destination it chooses. It doesn't seem to have any consistency. Ah, uh, I am I'm getting frustrated. I'm getting frustrated, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, what? <laughs> I'll I log back onto the server and <laughs> what what is happening today? I log back onto the server and now the mycelium is going where it should go. <laughs> I don't understand this. <laughs> so moving on from these weird tech behaviors that I really can't explain, I'm starting to focus a little bit on the look of this thing and I am really in love with this new smooth sandstone texture and the birch strip birch lobes. I think I think it's a fantastic looking combination and I think I want to go with it. So this would be our chest array. I think I'll probably go with something like this here. Not entirely sure if I want to have the floor this this like plain, <laughs> but we'll see about that. I do like these diagonal exits though. That that can be something that's cool. And for these things, I was only originally putting down these things to remember myself when I put the filters in, but I quite like how it looks. I even even like the little glass thing with the with the redstone on the on the other side. I, I quite I quite I quite like this. I'm not a big fan of item frames in general. I am really getting pleased with this. I've started to install the signs with all the different stuff that we are manually sorting through. And I've test run test run. <laughs> I've test run all of these things. And it seems that everything is working with the inconsistency of when it gets put in a barrel or not, which is, again, really, really, really strange. But we've got our input chest in the middle, so anything we put in here that we do filter through will make it through the system. Mycelium goes in, and I've positioned the, the elevator so that if I'm standing in the middle, I shouldn't really hear it. Let's see if that's actually true. I think this may be on the very edge. Nope, I can't hear it from here. Ah, oh, that's so good. Over here, though, it's... Clicky, clicky, clicky. I'm having a lot of fun <laughs> with the storage room right now. I've spent like two hours mainly just thinking about things and stuff with the design and like positioning things. And right now I'm trying to install these lights. I would love to have, much like I have in the lab, an indicator per Schalke box. And yeah, this circuit here is really going to add to the size of this thing. Can I do that for all of these though? I can't because... <laughs> I can't stack that circuit. What am I thinking? Observers. Observers are the best thing ever. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't get much easier than that, does it? And a little bit of a T flip flop there because of the zero tick or one tick. So if I illustrate, yeah. So now it would be full and or now it would have a shulker box in it and now it wouldn't. Perfect. <laughs> that thing is looking mega. <laughs> Oh, that is the coolest thing ever. There's so many observers there, but it's looking so cool. Oh, I love this. I really love this. Oh, this is a little bit frustrating, but I am just out of observers. <laughs> Dang it. So close. I can't believe I have to craft my own observers. Despite having to craft my own observers, and turns out that they're quite expensive, that is completed and that is looking really seriously megalone cool megalone is that some kind of whale or shark or something like that i don't even know anyway i had plans to head over to sahara today because i know that there's been some purchases i, I I've, I've heard i've heard the news and i've heard the rumors that there's someone got a little bit older but i mean i, th I thank you for for the diamonds scar <laughs> I, I, and, and your beard is great. Looks great. But because of the fact that I've been spending the past 16 hours on this storage room, both in creative test world and here, I am completely out of time. And so is the video. So that's going to do it for today. I really hope you have enjoyed it. We'll head over to Sahara next time. We'll probably also do some Hermitville stuff. I am going to put the design over this, by the way. And I'm going to put a design over that as well. I, I promise you it won't look this open. But it is really cool and really nice to build out on the overground. It really, really... It's a lot it's a lot quicker process than having to measure out and dig out and all of those things. But anyway, I did. I do hope that you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit the like button down below. If you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I will see you dudes in the next episode.